So the shovel hits the ground and the buildings start popping up. But where are the tenants? Well, it's not that easy. Jared Harrell is an assistant professor for several real estate courses at Texas Tech. His classes have closely studied the commercial real estate boom in West Lubbock, including why the projects take some time to fill up. It's not a production line where you can turn on the machine or the, the, the widget product, uh, producer and turn it off. And so there's a significant time lag. I think maybe some of our notions of how quickly stores get filled are built on the idea that they're pre-leased, meaning that construction is finished on day one and day two, tenant moves in. And that's great, and that's, that's great when that happens. However, not all real estate development projects are like that. They're not all pre-leased. Some of them are built speculatively, meaning I will build it, and then they will come and, and begin paying rent. Harold says the combination of Lubbock's strong economy, Texas Tech, agriculture, and the health industry has led to more speculative building. The strength of that market gives these developers certainty that it's okay to take the pre-leasing risk off the table because there is a strong market and they're confident that the tenants will come and not only are they confident, they're confident enough to actually put their money into it. And so they recognize there's a risk there, but also they've seen the, the characteristics of Lubbock and just the, the growth and the potential here, and so they're willing to make that bet. Hinthorn says that's where the patience comes in. If you don't have it, don't do it because what you think will take two years will take ten. Uh, and again, what you conceive of is the uh, original uh, theme of the project may turn out to be something totally different halfway through it. So uh, you've got to be not only patient but flexible. But he says that's also the fun part. And watching a mere idea grow and evolve from empty land to a 107,000 square foot family entertainment center makes it all worthwhile in the end. You know, standing in cotton up to your knees one day and then coming out and seeing the building up and people actually living here. Uh, is one of the most gratifying feelings you can possibly imagine because of all the pieces that go with it. But uh, I, I can't describe it. It's, it's something kind of beyond belief. Hinthorn says the Esplanade, which you might know as the shopping center with Altitude Trampoline Park, is about 90% filled now. He says that some of those new tenants will be moving in this summer, including two restaurants with outdoor patios and a family game center similar to a Dave & Buster's layout. For further details, you can go to kcbd.com. Abner. Thank you, Presley.